Holiday gatherings are just around the corner, and if you're looking for a crowd pleaser to add to the menu, we got a charcuterie board that you just need to have here now with the perfect pairings of sweet and salty and how to make your own charcuterie boards for a special occasion is Chef Angelo Loria of Vince and Joe's Gourmet Kitchen or Market. I am excited to have you here this morning. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it. Uh, happy holidays, everyone. Uh, coming holidays and all the, the fun stuff going around. Yes, of course. Now, I know V&J has you covered with the ultimate appetizers, but what if someone wants to order the whole dinner? What kind of options do you have for the holidays? So for the holidays, we have, um, uh, give us a call. We, we've still got some spots left uh, for Thursday. Uh, some spot, uh, a lot of spots for Wednesday. Take it up, hold it up. Uh, we need the next day. Uh, we've got you covered for Thanksgiving. We've got all the trimmings you need. We've got the turkey. We've got everything all set. So you just kind of, uh, you know, digest uh, another lion's loss, and then you come in and you have your Thanksgiving dinner, and you're all set. Let's go into my favorite, the charcuterie board. When is the best time to break out the board? Anytime, anytime from day to night, you can turn these boards into your own unique, uh, unique um, uh, themed uh, menu. Whether you're going to go French, you go Italian, you want to go vegan, you want to go vegetables on it. Anytime is a good time for the boards, whether it's the uh, original ones with your prosciutto and your, your sopressata and your Italian cheeses, your creamy cheeses, all in the original one we have right here. Or, you know, we, we've, uh, we've seen these, these boards have just become so crap with people just putting everything on a board and then calling it charcuterie. Uh, so we've got one here that's completely um, vegan. It's roasted vegetables, done beautifully. Uh, it's great for just a, a, a great side uh, dish. Instead of just, you know, the same peas and carrots or, or, uh, or overcooked asparagus, we've got some great, uh, from rabini to harissa sweet potatoes to, to curry cauliflower. We've got some great ideas uh, on, our, on our, this board, too, and it's also available at Vincent Joe's. And then we have the ultimate meat lovers one, the butcher's, uh, the butcher's favorite right here. So we've got um, our butcher board, which has got some prime rib on it. We've got tenderloin. We've got uh, some Cajun, uh, Cajun wings. We've got uh, grilled, uh, grilled flank steak. We've got everything you could imagine uh, for meat on here. Uh, absolutely delicious. Uh, served, uh, served on the board. Watch your house uh, or come pick it up. Uh, absolutely delicious. And what's your favorite way to present the jacuterie boards? You know, I'm kind of a theme sort of guy. My wife has pushed me into that where there's got to be a theme for everything, a birthday party or, you know, for whatever. So uh, my theme is, is, is kind of goes with the theme. So if you've got, a, if you've got a, a, someone who's retiring from automotive, you've got some automotive party, put it on a hubcap. Make sure it's clean or lay some plastic down it. But put it on a hubcap, put it on a tire. We've got one here on a mirror, an old mirror right now. No one knows how to do that here at my house because I stole the mirror from the, uh, from the, from the bathroom. They'll figure it out in the morning, I guess, but... Uh, we've got uh, we've got it on a mirror. Something that you've got, something unique. Another talking point too uh, that makes it just um, uh, unique. And, and everyone just congregates around the kitchen, anyways. You got to put it on the island or put it on the table, and you sit down and you eat on, You eat these for you know for the for the entire evening, and it's just kind of fun to pick. I'm an appetizer sort of guy, so I consider these all appetizers. So uh, you, the more appetizers you eat, the less calories they are for everyone, too. The less filling it is, right? And are there any tips to live by for someone constructing their own? Yeah, you want to make sure that, that you've got the, uh, enough of variety, but not too much. Um, so probably about two to three ounces if it's just an appetizer of the meat and cheese per person, or uh, six to eight ounces if it's going to be a, a that's what they're going to be eating for the evening. Uh, pair some nice wines with it. Make sure you've got a different uh, flavor profile, different textures in there. You don't want all uh, hard cheeses. You don't want all soft cheeses. A nice mixture. And the thing about color, too. Add some color to it, whether it's uh, dried fruit, uh, whether it's some great strawberries, whether it's grapes. You want to add some uh, some color, some pizzazz to it too, so it's not all one color looking uh, extremely monotone. And finally, where can people go if they want to have their board professionally done? Uh, VincentJoe's dot uh, com. Uh, give us a or give us a call at, our, at um, the catering office. Uh, we give us a call at the store here. We'd love to, to build one for you. Uh, we need uh, probably about a twenty four hour notice, but if they, if you need a charcuterie board ASAP then we can do that for you too. Um, just give us a call. We'd be more than happy to help out with the holidays, making this as stress-free as possible. We we're trying to get gifts and gifts that uh, are taking, uh, getting too long to get or not in, in stock here. This is always in stock. We're ready to, ready to serve you anytime. All right, Chef Angelo Loria of Vince and Joe's Gourmet Market. Thanks for being here with us this morning. Thanks for having us. We'll see you soon.